Hello everyone. The day that I have not been looking forward to has finally arrived. As you can see, I have boxes because today it is... Wait, I'm sorry for this weird angle. Today it is packing day. Closing off the men from the football, but as you can see, today is packing day. So these two bigger ones I'm gonna use for Rigo and I, and then this smaller one I'm gonna use for the baby, and then these ones I'm going to be packing things that I won't be taking to Arizona right away, things that I don't necessarily need with me. I'm only taking the essentials, which is is which is our clothes and our shoes and stuff so and some blankets but other than that everything is going to go in those brown boxes and I'm going to bag them and then put them in our little shed that we have here I'm going to clean this room all out empty it out completely so that my sister can move in here and not have to worry about any like my stuff but yeah today is Saturday tomorrow is Sunday we are leaving tomorrow I am telling you, I have, I'm like experiencing so much cold feet. I'm like doubting myself. I don't want to go anymore. I'm second guessing myself, but I'm like trying to convince myself to take this leap forward and give it a chance because you never know. So I'm going to try it out for a month or two the rest of the year, November, December. If I don't like it, I can always come back. For whatever reason, I can always come back. Thankfully, I have the opportunity to come back. But yeah, we're going to try it out out there, see how it goes. But let's get packing. Okay, one, the first box down. In that box, we have sweaters and jackets and stuff. And then in this box, I'm in the process of folding all of our shirts so in this box like i said our shirts dresses and then our jeans and stuff like that are all gonna go in that box okay okay this is the second box down um so we have one and two so that first one that i just finished was um like underwears and undergarments with our shirts and shorts and pants or whatever that first one is all like thicker clothes jackets sweats and stuff but look at this closet closet is now empty this stuff i'm gonna pack away in those boxes but it's all empty now these are empty this i'm gonna leave here for my sister because room this room gets really cold during the winter times and it's actually starting to get chilly it's not cold enough to where you need the heater but it will um these i'm gonna leave here if for when my mom has like a party or something she can use these these are all clothes that like were gifted to my daughter in um like her birthday that were too small for her and i never returned so i'm just using them to re-gift them um but yeah all this is going with me i think i'm gonna take this i don't know if Rigo wants to take this but yeah it's officially empty what i need to do now is go fill up that that clear container and I know I have a bunch of dirty clothes still I'm still debating whether I want to wash them tomorrow before I go or if I'm just gonna throw it all in a dirty bag in a plastic bag and then just take it with me and then over there I'll just wash it I don't know but I still gotta figure that out today yeah let's go do my daughter's closet hi can I get uh, number three the potato famous bowls um, I'm gonna have two. And can I have Dr. Pepper on both? Can I get two small side orders? One of mashed potatoes and gravy, and the other of mac and cheese. Okay, thank you. That'll be all. Thank you. You guys, so it's five. 20 now and I've decided to take a little break and I got kind of hungry so I came to KFC thank you so much you too 
so like I was saying um, so unfortunately there has been a death in the family one of my cousins um, we lost her to she was overseas in like I think it was Dubai and honestly I don't know what her situation is or what she was going through it, honestly it's been a while since I've talked to her um, and there's just a lot of a lot of things that she was dealing with for all of her life and um, there's not really much for me to say but you know she did take her own life they found her it's just really hard right now because it is close to her birthday today's actually her birthday so the family they my nina actually my godmother she organized like a celebratory potluck in her honor because today is her birthday so my dad and my mom they're gonna go and honestly, with the move and stuff, I would like to be present and pay my respects. However, it, you know, these things aren't planned, you know, obviously. And we didn't know what was going to happen. And now we're, move we're leaving to Arizona tomorrow. And there's a lot of packing for me to do and organizing and some washing to do. So I unfortunately will not be attending. I'm going to stay, so that's why I only bought myself some food and I brought my sister some food because we're staying because the room that I'm moving out of, she's moving into, so as I'm like taking things out, she's putting stuff in, or she will later, and so I bought food for her, for me and my daughter, I didn't buy anything for Rigo because he is also going to be going, um, yeah, so, I don't know, it's just really hard times right now for the family and I feel for them and it, it, it sucks you know but they're gonna go out and like I said I'm taking a little dinner break and I'm going to be eating and then I'm going to continue packing and I'll show you the progress that I've made so far because I have made a lot although it may not look like it in the videos um yeah I'll update in a little bit Okay, and this, okay, and this is the after. This is what it's looking like. It's completely empty. And all this stuff is going to stay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yeah, all these boxes are filled with stuff. That they're filled with stuff that I took out of the um, bookshelves. Hold on, let me turn down the TV. So here's a little overview of the room. So let me start. Okay, the bookshelves are almost completely full. I mean, emptied. That those stuff is gonna go with us. That's gonna go with us. Um, these two things are going to stay. Um, that's gonna go with us. That's gonna go with us. Those hair ties are gonna go with us. Um, let's see. These three bins are what we're taking, and then in this box, I'm thinking about loading up all her toys in there as for dirty clothes this is her my daughter's dirty clothes basket and that's ours Rico's and ours so i actually have a load in the washer right now with some clothes that i need to wash i'm not clothes blankets that i'm going to take so as soon as that's done i'm going to wash our dirty clothes and pack those and regular luggages that we're going to take but like this i'm going to take these are her books where is it this red bag is her books and then these books i'm going to take as well um this is stuff that we're taking for my brother-in-law's and then this is like my skincare stuff perfume um things like that um i was planning on leaving this box as actually no all the other little bits and stuff that i'm going to leave in that closet I actually have these two canastas were in my daughter's closet so I think I'll just use this one as like um, more storage for the closet so because I have a little bit of stuff that I need to put in there but I don't need a huge box so I think I'm just going to use 
this white little cubby. But yeah, that is a progress for now, and then I'll update you in a little bit. Why was leaving so hard? Leaving my family was really hard to do. Um, so this decision of coming here was very impulsive, I feel like. Um, I was blinded by my ego and out of anger, I've made this decision to come here and to come work. And, you know, the decision has been made. I already had a job interview, so I wanted to back out, but you know, I was like, you know what, we're already here, I already got accepted, might as well give it a shot. So here I am in Arizona, I left my family back in California, it was just a really hard day. Um, before I even started saying goodbye and just seeing the room empty where I was staying, was really, really sad, it made me cry. <clears throat> I almost didn't say goodbye to my parents because they weren't there for me to say to leave and they were like busy or whatever so I only said bye to my sisters but thankfully they were able to make it back on time and I said bye to them and it was just the hardest thing ever um but I'm trying to keep a positive mind and trying to remind myself that this is a good thing and I'm doing it for all the right reasons and that I should be happy but it's really hard because I've always been close to my family but you know, my new family now is with my husband and my daughter, so I have to keep that in mind. But it's just really, 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 really hard. It's really hard. And I hope I'm not I'm not the only one. And I hope that I inspire somebody to take that leap of faith. Um, but yeah, this is my first day on the job. It's all virtual meeting, training. So, and here, by the way, I'm... We're staying at my in-laws house and they live in a trailer and it's very very tiny which is another reason why now that I'm here I kind of like regret it um, just because we don't I don't have my own home to come to um, they don't have a big home so we're kind of all just making it work but um, hopefully in the near future we can find our own place here whether that's an apartment or townhouse even a mobile home i'm not against mobile homes i've always wanted to live in a mobile home so that's what i'm going to be looking for but yeah there's literally no space for any of our things the van is filled with like to the brim of storage containers and maybe i'll show you that in a different video but yeah right now my in-laws gave up their room for brigo and i and our daughter um, but yeah, there's like no space, but I'm thankful that they were 
willing to take this in. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and I'm not ashamed of, I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not ashamed of the situation. You know, this is, we're literally starting from zero again. Um, but, and it's scary. It really is scary, but we're learning and we're growing. But yeah, I'm going to finish up these meetings and thank you so much for watching. I hope I touched a couple of hearts with this video and I hope I, you've been inspired to take that leap of faith. Maybe that you've been having cold feet on and take that chance. But yeah, I'm ending the video here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. And I'll keep you updated on my life, my new life in Arizona. So yeah, bye.